get to to work with him directly? I yeah. know that you do so much of the work. We, yeah, it's true. Well, you know, it is a pretty lonely job doing voiceover sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh, you're in the you're in the booth a lot by yourself. But I was so lucky because Robin was such a brilliant improviser, and they encouraged him to do that on, in the movie. You know, a lot of that right, stuff right. is. I mean, it's we had, just him. Yeah, it's just him being yeah. Robin Williams, and um, so uh, yeah, so we had to record together because I had to adjust my dialogue. For his because dialogue. right, based yeah. on what he was saying. And let me, it was ridiculous because I was the biggest Robin Williams fan. I still am. And also he um, he was so nice. He was so disarming and just very gracious. And he, I think he could tell that I was freaking out. Yeah. And, and um, he was doing his best to make you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. he was very calm. He was. I couldn't believe it because we everybody know you think of Robin Williams and you think of almost like that genie character, this manic energy. But he was very professional and very calm. And we would walk through the storyboards. Oh. Yeah. But then when the tape would roll. Forget. He was on. Exactly. That, he was exactly. like a light switch. Yeah. Well, and you know, and let me tell you, I felt that he made was everybody else is behind glass, six yeah. inches of glass. So the, you look through the booth and everybody's crying. The directors <laughs> are crying, and I'm standing there covering my mouth. I don't know what to do. Because you don't want to bust the yeah. right, bust I, the tape. I dropped to the floor. That was the only thing I could do because I didn't want to ruin the brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>